Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Join my free crypto discord if you haven't already. And now let's get right into the Bitcoin chart for today. As you can see, Bitcoin has just been consolidating over the last couple of weeks in this massive descending channel. And besides that, it's also ranging from this level of resistance from about 71 to 73K and this level of support, which is ranging from 62.4K all the way down to 60,000 US dollars. And as you can see, in the short term, we have actually touched the bottom of this level of support. So we are very close to losing support right now. And that's why we must zoom into the short term support and resistance levels to get a better understanding of what is happening in the charts right now. So zooming in for Bitcoin, as you can see over the last couple of days, we actually had this bearish rising wedge pattern, which I did say all the way up here was more likely to break to the downside. And then it did. So we got a big pullback to the downside. And then the price started ranging in this small descending channel. And just like I said in yesterday's video, in the case that we lose support at this level, which we have now done, I said it is very likely that we actually go all the way to the bottom of the rising wedge pattern. So now it did and it has fully completed the price target, which was all the way down here at the bottom of the wedge. So now in the short term, what are the key support and resistance levels that you need to look out for for Bitcoin? Well, first of all, like I said, you have this level right here from 62.4K all the way down to 60,000 US dollars, because in the case that we really do lose support below this big support level right here, I think it is looking very bearish for Bitcoin. However, there is one other chart that I will get to in a second here, because that shows it can actually go a little bit below 60K without us being in trouble. Either way, zooming out a little bit, in the case that we lose this level of support right here at 60,000 US dollars, the next big level of support below that is all the way down from about 58,000 all the way down to 56,500. And just like I said, there's another chart that shows we can go a little bit below 60K. And that's actually this parallel channel right here, because as you can see, the level of support is actually down here, which is roughly 59.7K. And if time continues, so it takes a couple of days that we are in this price range, the price actually goes as low as 59.4K. So as long as we stay above that level in the short term, I think nothing much is really going on. We are simply reaching the bottom of the range. So there's no point to really panic yet. But in the case that we actually lose this parallel channel right here, in my opinion, it looks pretty bearish for Bitcoin in the short term. However, one thing you must always do in situations like this is simply zoom out, for example, here on the weekly time frame. You can see that, yes, we are having a pullback right now. However, so far, I am not of the opinion that this is the end of the bull run just yet. I do think we have a little bit more of a ways to go because simply these pullbacks are part of the bull run. And in fact, if you just take a look at the percentage difference from the all-time high, we're only down about 20%. So in that sense, it isn't even a major correction yet. And even if we go to 50K, that would just be a 30% pullback, which is also pretty typical in a bull run. So this is just something to keep in mind. Even if we go to that 50K level, it is still, in my opinion, not the end of the bull run, but we will just see as we get to that point, if we even get to that point. For now though, guys, I, I'm seeing a lot of people in my Discord also discussing this situation right now with the pullback and everything. Look, in my opinion, as long as we're still in this channel, literally nothing is going on, <laughs> okay? So... Um, we can still easily just go back to the upside and start trading to the top side of the range in the short term. Okay. So definitely wait to see what actually happens at the support level of this channel right here before making any emotional decisions. So having said all of that, <laughs> let's move to the symmetrical triangle pattern that I have been talking about over the last couple of weeks. <laughs> because yeah, the bearish news is not over guys. If you know, if you have been watching my channel for the last couple of weeks, you know that I've been talking about this symmetrical triangle for a very long time, a couple of weeks or so. And I did call that in the case that we get a breakdown to the downside for this symmetrical triangle pattern, it would actually set up this price target right here at about 58,000 US dollars. And as you can see, we already got pretty close to actually reaching that level multiple times. And I remember very clearly when we started trading to the upside, it, start, it really started to look like we would invalidate this pattern and would go back to the upside. However, I did say whenever we were even in these levels, the pattern has not been invalidated yet. So we didn't get confirmed candle closes on higher timeframes above that level, meaning that the pattern is not invalidated yet. 
and that this price target at 58,000 US dollars is in fact still active. So we cannot rule out the possibility that it actually trades all the way to that level in order to complete this pattern. And I've been saying this over and over again, but now it's starting to look a lot more realistic as we are trading very close to that previous price. So as of right now, personally, I would not be shorting this move to the downside because yeah, I think there's just a very strong support at 60K right here. However, the reason I'm sharing this is simply because I think you should know that this is currently an active price target and you can do with that information what you like. Now, lastly, before I continue on to the Bitcoin ETF inflows, as well as the Bitcoin liquidation heat maps, I do want to show you what to look for in order for the price to reverse back to the upside. So let's take a look at the RSI momentum indicator in order to get a better idea. So as you can see, recently we have this descending trend line that we've just been steadily been getting rejected from over and over again. And in the case that you want to see the price go to the upside, personally, I would really be looking for this breakout right here. So I want to see the RSI break above this descending trend line, because that would be a signal for me that potentially the price is ready to get a bounce and potentially even trade back to the top side of this range. But until we get this confirmation that we're breaking above this trend line, we are simply in a downtrend. So that is something to keep in mind on the daily time frame. Now taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat maps on the 24 hour time frame, and this is informative to analyze because typically the Bitcoin price gets attracted to where there is most liquidity on this chart. So where the chart is actually showing the most yellow areas. As you can see recently in this move to the downside, we took out a lot of liquidity at about 60.3K. And even below that, all the way down to about 58,000 US dollars, there is still a lot of liquidity guys. So do not fade this liquidity here because we might actually end up grabbing this before potentially moving to the upside. But in order to get a better view, let's take a look at the one week Bitcoin liquidation heat map. And it is very clear that recently we took out a lot of liquidity to the downside. And now most of the liquidity is to the upside again. So obviously I can't predict if we're going to grab this liquidity right here in order to complete this symmetrical triangle pattern right here that I talked about earlier in the video. However, most of the liquidity right now is to the upside with about $800 million worth of people that are shorting the Bitcoin price that will lose their money on their trade in the case that the price reaches this level. So this is very noteworthy in my opinion, because we just took out a lot of liquidity to the downside. So potentially we are now ready to take out the liquidity to the upside. So this is something to just keep in mind in the short term. The most important thing right now though, is simply to see what the reaction of the price will be at this level, are we going to see a bounce or we see a breakthrough below this channel right here? That's the most important thing that you need to look out for in the short term. Now taking a look at the Bitcoin ETF flow tables, as you can see yesterday, we had a net outflow of about $51 million from the Bitcoin ETFs with Grayscale selling about $24 million worth of Bitcoin on Monday. The ARK Bitcoin ETF selling about 31 million and the Fidelity Bitcoin ETF selling about $7 million. And combine that with the smaller inflows from the other ETFs, that actually led to a net outflow from the ETFs. So all of these outflows from the ETFs over the last couple of days have a downward pressuring effect on the Bitcoin price. So if we see this trend continue, then it is more likely that we actually do end up breaking to the downside from that parallel channel that I talked about. However, we don't know what is going to happen. So the best we can do right now is simply to take a look at these charts every single day in order to get a better understanding of what might happen in the future. So if you want to stay up to date with the crypto markets, do make sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications on so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. And besides that, I also share my real-time thoughts on the market inside my discord community so if you want to join my crypto discord server for free you can join it with the first link in the description of this video now taking a look at ethereum on the weekly time frame as you can see we got rejected from the 0.786 fibonacci level after which we traded to the downside and lost support at the 0.618 fibonacci level and after that we were actually ranging in between the 0.5 Fib level and the 0.618 Fibonacci level. And this trend continues, but right now we are moving quickly to the downside to the 0.5 Fibonacci level again. So now let's take a look at the short term support and resistance levels for Ethereum. So as you can see recently, we got rejected from that 0.618 Fibonacci level that I talked about earlier. And then we traded to the downside losing support 
at this level from about 3150 up to 3250. So this is now a new level of resistance for Ethereum. So once we lost that level of support and flipped it into resistance, we quickly, in fact, almost instantly traded to the downside to the next level of support below that, which is from about $3,000 all the way down to 2850 for the price of Ethereum. And in my opinion, this is a critical level to hold because if we lose this 0.5 Fibonacci level, then the next Fibonacci level below it is all the way at $2,400. So this is very important to hold in the short term. Either way, there are some levels of support in between though. So in the case that we lose the level of support, we might potentially see a bounce from this level right here from about 2720 all the way down to 2600. Now taking a look at Solana on the weekly time frame, as you can see, we also got rejected from the 0.786 Fibonacci level and basically just sliced through a bunch of Fibonacci support levels. So we lost the 0.618 Fibonacci level. And right now we only have a couple hours to actually close a daily candle above the 0.5 Fibonacci level. Otherwise we can also just mark this area as no longer a level of support, but in fact a level of resistance. And the next Fibonacci level below for Solana is all the way at $103. So yeah, that would just be very bearish. It would be another 25% move to the downside from here for Solana. So yeah, that would be very bearish because it would be another about 15% move to the downside for Solana. However, this is of course not guaranteed because first we need to take a look at the short term support and resistance levels for Solana. Okay, so zooming in on the four hour time frame, you can see that recently we lost support from this blue trend line. And I did say when we were all the way up here that if we would lose the trend line, it would be very bearish for Solana because it would simply show that we are no longer in this uptrend. So after we did, we got a quick move to the downside into this previous level of support, which has now been flipped into resistance. And the level is from about $150 all the way down to $140. So as soon as we lost that, we traded into the support level below from about 133 all the way down to 124. However, as of right now, we are actually trading below the level of support on the four hour time frame. So we have a couple hours here, which also is the daily candle close to actually trade back inside this level of support. Otherwise, Solana will have lost this level of support as well in the short term. And in that case, the next level of support below it would be all the way from about $115 all the way down to about $100 for Solana. So this is all looking very bad in the short term for Solana. We have about an 8% up to a 19% move to the downside potentially for Solana. However, in my opinion, to determine what is going to happen next, you should first take a look at what Bitcoin is doing in the short term, because in the case that Bitcoin holds that level, Solana might just trade back inside this level of support right here. And another thing you must keep an eye on is this big white line you see in the chart right here, because this has been acting as a level of resistance when we were trading below it and a level of support when we were trading above it. So since we are currently trading below the trend line again, in the case that we get a bounce from this level, for example, this would be a very significant trend line to actually break and potentially send Solana back to the downside. So whenever the price reaches this trend line, it's a very important time to actually pay attention to the price action and see what happens around those levels. That's about it for today's market analysis. Thank you very much for watching once again. Do make sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications on, like I said. Thank you for watching once again, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one.